Thank you for staying with us. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. At some point, uh, there was this uh, T-shirt that was raining for the young ones. My money grows like grass. I had a problem with that anyway. Even though people loved it, I had a problem with that. If your money grows like grass, it means it is seasonal. It would come, the dry season will come and kill the grass and all that. That's my thinking. And then I saw your money you can make your money grow on trees. That made more sense to me. And so we were able to drag in an investment banker, a member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, who eventually works with an investment firm, uh, FBN Quest. Uh, we're glad to have in the house this morning to talk on this issue, uh, Mr. Donatus Onoja. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning and thank you very much for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um, this time money is not growing like grass. <laughs> you can make your money grow on trees. Uh, it's, a, it's a term that you people in the financial sector uh, use. So what does it really mean for money to grow on trees? Thank you very much for the beautiful question. And to answer your question very straightforward, money actually don't grow on tree. Mm. However, money growing on tree is a construct that refers to the fact that for you to grow wealth, for you to make money, there has to be that deliberate plan, right? To, through financial planning, to set aside money from what you earn or from what you have. Not just saving, but investing so that you can generate return. And when you generate those returns, they come like fruit on the trees, then you are able to plug it. So it is a construct that refers to taking deliberate steps, financial planning, to set aside money from what you earn and then invest and then make some very good return. So thankfully we are in the new year mm. and this is the time where people are setting up financial goals and the right. lives. So this is the right time to sit down and ask yourself, as a worker, how much can I afford to set aside so that I can not just save, because saving is not, won't make your money grow. It is, the catch is in you investing and making good returns. Okay, I'm 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 a farmer. <laughs> this one is, is I'm a farmer. This is not me. I'm I'm a farmer. Uh, let me use rice for instance. You are from an agrarian community as well, so you should know this. Now, when you want to invest, it's like planting rice. But there is rice that can mature in two months. There's rice of three months. There's rice of six months even. So when we are looking at investment, everybody that the layman. Uh, like us, we always think about a long-term plan. And we were joking with uh, Rume before that Nigerians say, now who don't chop belly full feed, save. save or invest. Okay, so when you're looking at investment, what are the terms, you know, that you can invest in and get returns? Like Terms like how much, how long will it take before an investment can uh, become a fruit for you to yeah. enjoy? Thank you very much. The and shortest and the longest, yes. Okay. Thank you very much for the question and a very important and good question at like that. So the truth of the matter is that when you set up for investment, the first great point of call is what is your investment objective? Are you setting aside funds from your salary, if you are a salary earner? Am I setting aside 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 from what you earn? Then secondly, there are all kinds of investment buckets that are available. There are ones that you can earn return in a very short time, 30 days. There are some that you, if you want, you can go for longer tenure. But of course, before you set out for investment, there are three basic factors that are very important. The first is what is the investment objective? Number two, what is your risk profile or your risk appetite? Are you happy to take risks? Do you understand risks? Because if the concept, there is a concept in finance that the higher the risks, the higher the return. Mm. Then what is the time horizon that want. you are looking at? <laughs> so these are the three basic questions we will have to answer first. Based on that, then we can get um, we can get the appropriate investment that match those three variables, those three questions that you have answered. So there are investment that you earn return almost immediately, 30 days, 90 days, 60 days. Then there are some that you need to wait for a little time you know if you go to equities for example now you are not in to just in after one week or after 30 days you want to take out your money it doesn't work like that so there are various investment buckets 
various portfolio that you can tap into. So how do you how do you get to identify this um, investment portfolios? Like how do I see one and I said and I say this is an opportunity for me to invest in right now and not when it's too late because sometimes um, you might say I want to invest that this is my financial goal for the year but in the middle of the year your money is already gone and you're like I can't so how do you start to spot these opportunities so you can join in quickly okay so thankfully that's why you have the investment managers right okay. like the firm that I work with Airbnb Quest Asset Manager at, uh, uh, Asset Management now the first thing we do for you is we are there we are in the market and we see all the various options that are available so if you come to us and say look I earn this much or this is January my my housing allowance will be paid to me in January and the fact we pay that rent is around June so I want to keep this money in a safe investment bucket. I don't want to take risks. However, I want to generate return so that by the time I'm paying my rent, I know that I've saved or invested or generated some fruit or some return for myself. So if you are not if um, you are not investment savvy, if it is not your space, then the right thing for you to do actually is to talk to an asset manager who will guide you, who will onboard you and give you all the various options that you can invest and earn a very good return for yourself. Yeah, before we go to specifics, how do we get these investment managers? Is it that every bank has them, has a, a section uh, that has investment uh, managers or investment firms are separate entities that you have to work to to get this kind of advice? Okay, thank you very much. So the banks, the commercial bank deposit money banks, they are separate, they are regulated by the Central Bank of Nigeria. However, for the asset managers, for the investment managers, they are regulated by SEC, okay. by Securities and Exchange Commission. Yeah. So if you seek out for them, it's okay. Who are the top investment um, or asset managers in Nigeria? Who is your friend? If you, if you put it out there, it will come up, you see the list and you pick the one you want. If you want, we are happy to and we are ready, anything, we are very ready and we are happy to receive you, to advise you, so that you can start earning and start growing wealth for yourself. Mm. Investment, it, it, it seems as if you have to have a lot of money before you can invest. How low? How low can you? I was you about to ask yeah. you that because, okay, so now I have like a spare <laughs> one million. Um, how can I invest? Is that low? And <laughs> <laughs> Why are you calling one million? Okay, I have a spare 50,000. Yeah. How can I invest that and what are the returns I might possibly get? Okay, so um, you can actually start investing with as low as 5,000. Fantastic. There are, there are various products, especially around the fixed income space. And one of them is the one with the popular one that we call mutual fund. So mutual fund allow you to come in as low as five dollar. And guess what? Mutual fund is a collective investment scheme where resources are pulled together from all kinds of investors. Guess what? You that is in that fund with your five thousand naira, and Mr. Lagbaja that has hundred million, both of you are earning the same return. So if today... No, 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 what do you mean the same, the same return? return? Like <laughs> so the same percentage? Doing. Yes, yes. So, okay. so let's assume you are in the uh, mutual fund bucket. We have a product that we call, for example, the money market fund. And if you are in that money market fund, let's assume the interest rate today is 10%. So everybody that is in that pool gets, gets 10%. 10 percent. And how, how, how long 5, is this for? Ten percent of the five thousand. Of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, how long is this for? Like, so is it every month I'm getting ten percent, or I no, have to no, leave no. it for a year or no, two no, years? No. Okay. So interest ordinarily accrue every day, but the ten percent we are talking about is annualized interest rate. Mm. So if I invest for thirty days, for example. I will say, okay, how much do I have? I have one million, for example. Mm. What is one million in one year? For convenience of calculation, let's mm. assume it's 100,000 in mm. one year. So you divide that by 12, you get for one month. Okay. You divide that by 30 days, you see what your investment okay. is at the end of, even daily. If so you it have starts daily, to accrue every yes, day. Yes, it accrues every day. And if you have investment app, you can actually monitor daily how much your investment is. Oh, and um, returning or generating. So with your five naira, you can start. With your one million naira that you have. So the what nobody should do this time, and especially this year, is leaving funds idle. Mm. Inflation, as we speak today, is 28.2. That means the purchasing power of your money is being eroded. So 
imagine even when we talk about currency unification before sometimes in June or thereabout with your 400,000 or so you can get $1,000 but today as we speak you need about 1,000 1.2 million to yeah. get the same 1,000. So money, the purchasing power of money is dropping every day. So don't leave money idle. Invest it in, in vehicles, investment vehicles that you can get return, generate, uh, grow well, and then of course, the proverbial tree, yeah. so that fruits can start coming from the tree that you have. I think one thing I really loved um, <laughs> that you said was the fact that you can track your investment. Because I mean, Absolutely. I'm the type of person that if I want to see, if I, I want to see how my money is growing. It's just like when you when you plant something, you're seeing the, the photosynthesis, you're seeing mm -hmm. how it starts to grow and germinate. And I think that even like motivates you to want to do more. Yeah. So now, the, here is my question. In a changing environment um, such as ours, how do you adapt? And how do you diversify your investment? Because at the end of the day, um, I know you're saying, okay, the money um, fund, but I'm sure that's not the only way to invest. So how do you start to diversify your investments in the changing um, environment that our economy is now? Okay. Thank you very much for the question. So investing, diversifying your investment portfolio is also a function of how much and what you have, right? And the risk you're willing to take? Of course. So if my investment objective at the beginning of the year, just as we are in January now, your goal is to set aside, I want to be setting aside 50, 50,000 naira every month. So that by December, with the interest and everything, I will have over maybe over a million and the rest of them. So if that's your objective, yeah, of course, you want to... Is that possible? <laughs> Eh? Is that possible? If you would. If you say uh, you oh, invest say 50. Every month. No, no, 50. You said 50. And yeah, then okay, no, 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 sure, sure, sure. So it's, 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 the amount you get, of course, is subject to what you invest. Yes. So if you are keeping 50, 50,000 every month, of course, you multiply by, that by 12. Mm. That's what your principal will be at the end of the day. Then, with now the interest that you have generated. And guess what? The good thing about investing is the moment you start, your appetite to do more. Exactly. Will and when you have grown your wealth up to a certain amount, maybe let's say I've been keeping my 100K, now I have 600,000, I can talk to my investment manager. What are the other options available to me? Mm -hmm. I'm in this pool, I'm in your money market fund. What are the other objectives that other vehicles that can earn more? So that's okay. Are you willing to do equities? We can do some equity based instrument for you. They will not, will not put all your money there, we can put a portion for you. Then if you have some money, you say, okay, can I also invest in FX, the limited investment? I have $20,000, I have $5,000. Mm. Can I also invest as well? So as you, you are already diversifying your portfolio. So depending on how much you have, you can invest in a dollar, you can invest in a fixed income base that is um, um, that mirrors um, the treasury bill of this world, the commercial paper and the rest. There is no exposure to equity. However, okay, I am comfortable. I have this 500,000. I want to do equity base because that's where I can earn more. Mm -hmm. If inflation is 28.2%, the question is, what can I earn that is more than 28.2%? Because if you don't do that, the real rate of return is still negative. So if you are in a bucket that is paying you 20%, for example, per annum, and inflation is 28%. So the negative yeah, real like rate of return yeah. is minus 8. Yeah. So when you invest and you have accumulated wealth, you might be willing to take more risks. And what we'll do for you, we can say, okay, we can do equity-based instrument for you. The the equity in NGX closed year 2023 above 50%. And if you go into some sec sectors, 60%, so 40 yeah. some 39 So you can say, okay, I need an investment vehicle that can give me a return that is above inflation. However, all this is subject to the amount of risks you are able to take, you are willing to take, and that how much you have. That was but your asset question. managers are willing and are there, professionally savvy, they understand the market, they understand the game. So yeah, okay, because I was going to, like for me, I, I was telling you I'm gold before you came on board. I said I... I Zero don't, risk. No risk. <laughs> yes, I do not fact, want to risk my money for yes. any reason. I mean, so I'm going to tell you, Principal preservation, number one objective. Yes, so exactly. So you can understand that the exposure to risk is zero. I mean, if I'm collecting my, let's say, my housing allowance upfront, 
I don't want to take a risk, for yeah. example, mm -hmm. that come when the rent is due. The money is no longer there. Mm. <laughs> so, so how do you get to assess and even manage your risk portfolio in all of this? Are is that where the investment yeah. banker comes yes. in and then they yes. get to advise you? Absolutely. And you want, if you want to take a deep dive, if you want to have some understanding, mm. we are happy to also explain to you. For example, we can tell you that this fund called Money Market Fund, for example, the underlying asset, a treasury bill issued by federal government, which only, almost guarantee um, commercial paper of selected firms that we are comfortable with, and the rating agency, and the ratings are okay, and then some bank placement. So all these guarantees return and guarantees your principal repayment. Mm. Then we move to another bucket called maybe um, equity based fund. I have a product, for example, called Smart Beta that has about 70% exposure to equities. Mm -hmm. So we'll tell you that. So what we've even done is to make sure that we don't leave you 100% exposed to equity. We do up to 70% for you. And the rest, the 30%, we even put it in maybe those that guarantee return. So that whatever happens at the end of the day, you still have something to fall back on. So it's a conversation that we can have and guide you accordingly which bucket to put in your money. So I from 5,000, right? I'm from comfortable. As low as from 5,000, that's a good thing. Now, but what happens to, you know, now salaries are difficult. Some, some are not paying, some are reducing the salaries, some they don't have what they're taking home. But my concern is what about the people with staggered salary? What I mean is you could be paid 100,000, but you're not sure that the next three months they will pay you consistently. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens to someone who has invested but cannot be consistent every month? Okay, so um, when you are investing, right, you'll be the one to decide that I want to be dropping 50-50K or 10-10K or 5-5K, which is the minimum. When it's not convenient for you, you don't pay and you will not be penalized. It's an investment um, bucket, for example, we are discussing the uh, money market fund, for example. You bring money when you have. And, you know, some of these investment uh, buckets also have minimum holding period. For mm -hmm. the money market fund, for example, the minimum holding period is 30 days. So it's even possible that I have saved, invested up to a particular, maybe million. let's say like 200,000, and then there's a need for me to spend 100K. You can come. It's an open-ended investment. There's no maturity date. Okay. You can come after 30 days. I say, come. I have a need for my 100k, or I want to do farming. I want to buy some grain mm. where I can go farm. I can yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when the returns come during harvest, I can even pay back some. So all that uh, options are available. So you can decide 50, 50 thousand. You yes. don't have this month, but yes. next month you have maybe 150. You, you can you you add, pay you add add yes. and you need a part of it too. You can come and request for it. There's a, a mobile app for it. You can even go from the comfort of your home and request for redemption and you'll be paid. So it's, another it's question like I have. It's like having a piggy bank that you, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can yeah. use but flyers to remove. <laughs> but the piggy bank, your money don't do. Yeah. You want to drop there that, that you get there. back. Oh, so okay. my question now is, does this come at a cost? So if possibly I'm investing X amounts to your, like to your company, do you charge me on my money? Or do you take something out from when it matures and the yeah, interest like that I get? Yeah, like people doing to... card. Yeah, you know, you're doing hundred, a thousand naira every day, <laughs> and the person is taking ten percent. Yeah. Is that the same thing? No, 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 no. no. So the um, interest rate, interest that we pay, is net of um, any charges. So we are regulated by SEC. The investment space is regulated by SEC, for example. Mm. And there are regulated fees. For example, you charge management fee that's not so much. Maybe 1.5% of um, your return and what have you. Right? So whatever rate they are giving to you, or you are being given 10%, 12%, is already net of, um, okay. net of any management fee. So you are getting your money straight, and um, then you won't see any charges. And the good thing also about the investment banking space, the asset management space, is the fact that returns are not subject to withholding tax. Okay. So whatever, if you drop your money in the commercial bank and you do fixed deposit, for example, okay. at the end of the tenure, um, withholding tax will apply, that will apply. And mm -hmm. Even bank apply. charges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 15, the 15 naira that you take every single, every Sunday, yeah. I'm debited 200 naira on my phone, which I don't understand yet. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. 
Okay, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm glad that you, you can invest with a very small amount. You can withdraw at any time you that you want. want, and you're not going to be charged uh, a visible charge because there's a charge. <laughs> <laughs> there's a charge, but it's not visible enough. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but but it's still even if it's vis visible, we know that for. Uh, every 10,000 naira, if you're taking 1.5%, that is really, really minute. It's, it's, a, it's insignificant. It's just that you're taking from a lot of people at the same mm -hmm. time. And then little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Your, your principal, actually, is the return. Yes, now we know, we know. So, because I'm very getting... small. You know, people are receiving tarali. You are not you're the brains that are put in. They all look of hard work. And even no, the, I understand. And even I, the regulator mm -hmm. for all the funds that are under um, asset under management, there are also regulatory fees that you have to pay. Yeah. Um, no, we, we, we totally understand. Obviously, if you're working, you should be able to get the dividends of your labor. Absolutely. Sadly, it's from our money <laughs> and our returns, but still, we're happy to, you know, invest. I'll so gladly, I'm I'm gladly give that instead of give to the banks the charges that they take from mm -hmm. me. Because mm -hmm. if I'm investing, and in fact, if I'm investing 10,000 naira in the bank. I'm saving rather in 10,000 naira in the bank. There's a possibility at December I would, not get, I would like, get like 8,000. Exactly. Or, so why would I go to the bank? I'm asking for an ATM and first 1,000 naira is off. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. And, and the same um, servicing of ATM mm. that is in your post <laughs> and it's somebody's servicing. Mm. But now eh, let's see when you're talking about investment uh, in a lot of things that uh, we are talking about. Um, what is the real problem? Because I, 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 I just wonder, why is it that Nigerians have not cultivated this culture yeah. of investment? Because if things are this good, why do we not know about it? Okay, so, you know, the culture is um, a little bit different. We live in a time where you know, everybody wants to show up, right? Yeah. You have a Gucci bag, the lady, you know, you rather go hungry, you know, so to have a Gucci bag. Is and before true? you know, you are showcasing <laughs> it on your social media mm -hmm. and your life, you know. You don't earn so much, but you are using an iPhone that is, come on. And can give you a lot of land. So, the culture is a little bit different, one. Number two, um, the environment that we are, there's a lot of responsibility. In fact, these days, people even have entitlement. There's this sense of entitlement, even on your salary. The fact that we are related, and I'm in the village, you are... <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. That's bring money, bring all the money. Exactly. So, um, the expenses always go to meet or even exceed mm. your revenue. So, there's always that pressure. So, people basically look at where we are today, look at what transportation is doing, look at what other costs are doing, yeah. you know, because of the macroeconomic environment. Inflation is going up, um, unification of the currency, transportation, food inflation is even 33%. Right. So how much do you earn that you can save? Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. There's something that happens in the bank. Sometimes there's fraud from one place or the other. Your money disappears from the bank. You go to the bank and they do virtually nothing about it. They don't trace it, even though they can. They don't trace it. Now, if something, God forbid, happens when uh, the, this money is invested with an investment company, how much insurance do you have yes. over your money? Okay, to even start with, uh, you are coming and say, I have 100,000 or 50,000 to invest. You are not even choosing which bucket to invest it in. In fact, to just digress a bit, instead of me keeping my money in savings account, where somebody on traffic can say, point a gun at me and say, mm. bring your ATM, let's go, let's withdraw your money. You have that pressure, you pay. But in investment, you don't have that access to your phone. Easily. You don't have that easy, easy access to your phone. You have that pressure, you, there's a procedure for you to withdraw, that money will come to you. But that immediate access is not available. So here, monies are insured, money are regulated. In fact, for our environment, you even have to appoint a custodian. So for my firm, for example, I cannot even use a subsidiary who is happens to be First Bank and say I'm keeping my money in First Bank. No, I have to go out. So in one of my funds, for example, Citibank, Amer Citibank America is my custodian. You know, so already if, in terms of the regulatory environment, the government has made sure that investment are safe, they create the right, right environment, and all the money are, make, are in public funds that have been. Um, that are properly regulated, there's custodian and everything. So the money is absolutely safe. And 
Yeah. Nobody sure can, can use and insured, of course. Nobody can even use ATM to go and withdraw money and give it to somebody because it's under pressure or because it's under the gun. It's actually more safer, in my own opinion. Okay, um, we, we need to be taking all these uh, uh, buckets of investment one after the other, but that's a, an issue for another day. Mm. So because we need to understand them how they are. So this is a warning that we are going to drag you again back here, back here to come and tell us more about these okay. buckets of investment. There are people who are watching us who are ready to take risks. I think the shorter the risk here, but the more gainful mm. uh, is, it is. But we need to understand these things specifically this is this this is that because investment as i was growing up and knowing is buying shares i don't mm -hmm. even know what buying shares are yeah. uh, what you need to do the processes i thought maybe you have to own a company you have to own millions of naira and all that but now things are getting clearer so we'll drag you back here for now i'd like you to just address nigerians talk to them this is new year like you said and let us be on the same pedestal as we move into the new year because everybody wants at the end of the year to be able to Have achieve one or two things. Right. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So my message to Nigerians this morning is that um, don't panic because you don't have enough. Mm -hmm. Nobody has enough. There's even a music that say even down with they see the fire money. Mm -hmm. We are all looking for money. But we are in January. Think about what you earn, the cash flow that comes to you. How much can I um, set aside and invest? Trust me, as you start, there will be appetite to even do more. Mm -hmm. You know? So let's all, no matter how small, let's all start from somewhere. So that at the end of the day, when those emergencies come, you are not asking for urgent 2K anywhere. Mm -hmm. Your own urgent 5K, you've invested them and they've grown to a certain level. Yeah. So when you need your urgent 5K, you can go to your investment and, and pick and take some out of it. You get, and then there's something that you know we believe that sometimes the moment you have money in your pocket, all the problems of yes. mm -hmm. you start from it. So please invest them. But where there's a need for money and there's no alternative, please go and take mm -hmm. out of it and then continue investing again. Then at the end of the day, you must have accumulated well, you build capacity to a particular level. I can tell yourself, ah, out of this money, I want to buy land, yes. I want to invest in equity. You cannot take some good investment uh, decision. And if the objective at the end of the day is to go to holiday, either locally in Nigeria here, or somewhere outside Nigeria, you have saved money, the laborer deserves his wages and all the rest. Mm -hmm. You can decide to take some time and go and rest. Why do so I have this feeling money? that these are pension people are just shortchanging us? <laughs> because if, if, I'm, if I'm giving money every month, you know, mm -hmm. I've been working uh, in the media for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I should be a multi-millionaire yeah. if well, my money is being be. invested mm -hmm. in, in... Anyway. Well, for me, I would be speaking to you even before we drive you back because I'm quite interested in this mm -hmm. and I'm looking for ways to invest my money. So, I'm yes. happy to be of service. Yes, yeah. Thank you for Thank coming. You okay. And thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. To yes. uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is one thing you, you... You can start with that school fee you need to pay in three months' time. Mm -hmm. Why not just drop it somewhere and see what happens at the time that you need to pay school fees? Since we know that it is safe, mm -hmm. let's try that one. Or your rent. Or your rent that you need to pay after one year. Be depositing something into an investment account instead of a deposit account or a, a savings, savings account. account. Uh, and at the end of the year, you go and remove the one that is left and <laughs> to pay your, your rents and all that. There are avenues that we can use to test the waters and see how it goes. But like he said, it starts with a little drop and then the appetite will grow for you to do more. Well, we're hoping to become multimillionaires <laughs> at the end of the year. Mr. Lodger, thank, so thank you so much for coming on the program thank you so this much. morning. I appreciate the yes. yeah, thank so, you. what a wonderful way of ending this program today, showing you how money can grow on trees. But like we said, we're going to drag him back here, uh, even yeah. next week maybe, to t tell us more about the various buckets of investments. And uh, if we're willing to take the risk or not take the risk, we'll make our cho informed choices for ourselves. But for now, we'd like to thank you for also being a part of this show this morning. Let's do it again tomorrow. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. My name is Rumi Paulson. Have an amazing day.